subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hello viewers i'm dr sanjeev pisahani and today i have a very interesting topic that is fear of mathematics does the thought of doing math overwhelm you does it fill you with fear or dread well fortunately or unfortunately you are not alone while it may sound like relatable experience it is not one that is to be laughed off in fact the problem is so bad that there is even a specific term for it called math anxiety Math anxiety is commonly defined as a feeling of tension and anxiety that interferes with the manipulation of numbers and the solving of mathematical problems. Around 15% of the general population is thought to suffer from math anxiety. Mathematics, as we all know, is one of those skills that is an indispensable part of our daily lives. You can dislike it and even hate it, but you simply cannot avoid it. And research suggests that math anxiety is a factor associated with low math achievement and performance. So, if you are a student, your confidence to learn and perform well in math can be negatively impacted by the negative feelings related to math anxiety. So, why do so many people struggle with math anxiety? Research has shown that the attitude of parents towards mathematics influences their children's math-related achievement and behavior. In fact, if parents do not value mathematics, their children are also unlikely to value it. Whereas, if children receive support and encouragement from their parents in learning math, that is likely to improve their math achievement. It is also thought that parents' views about the importance of math and science have an impact on how motivated their children will be to study these subjects in the future. Apart from parents, teachers can also play a role. For instance, teachers who themselves struggle with math often implicitly pass on their unfavorable attitude to their students. The classroom environment also plays a critical role. This refers to the socio-emotional climate of the classroom and includes the behavior and attitude of the math teacher and the classmates. Does the students feel pressured from other classmates to excel in math? Does the teacher give off the impression that the student will face dire consequences if they perform poorly? Research shows that the students who perceive their classroom environment as more caring, challenging and mastery-oriented belief they can do well and succeed in mathematics. This belief in their math-related self-efficacy reduces their anxiety and increases the likelihood that they will do well. Broadly, parents, teachers, the socio-emotional environment in the math class are external factors. Apart from these, there are also certain internal or individual related factors. For instance, your motivational style. Do you tend to approach or avoid challenging situations? So apart from teachers and parents, students themselves need to play an active role in understanding and addressing their math anxiety. In general, deep breathing, relaxation training, and calming music helps many people in anxious situations. Many may benefit from talking about it to their family or friends or in a more formal therapeutic environment with a school counselor or a counseling or clinical psychologist. Lastly, as parents and educators, it is our responsibility to create a positive learning environment for our children. We must create a nurturing, encouraging, and challenging environment 
for our children to learn mathematics. At the same time, we must also recognize and try to ease their fear of mathematics. That sums up today's episode. Hope you had fun watching it. Thank you.